good day. How are you? Um, this is going to be a little bit of a babble video. <clears throat> well, combination of a babble plus training, I guess. Sensi training, I guess. I don't know. Um, I was talking with a friend this morning and I was saying that I'm feeling frustrated about something. Not really frustrated. I, I'm seeing patterns in both my Sensi business and other people's Sensi business at the level that I'm at. And there is a pattern. And I'm trying to break the pattern because it's tough. So I had said to another consultant, in a video actually, um, that I have seen Sensi consultants become director and then they sort of sit back and they, you know, they go, okay, that's finished. And then, you know, and then they sort of stop working. And I need to retract that because while that probably does happen often, what also happens to a lot of Sensi consultants when they hit certain levels of rank in the company is that, you know, your business starts to take off. You become a consultant or you reinstate like I did and you go up and up and up and you you rank up and you grow in the company and you start you know earning incentives and you know you're you're recruiting but you you also need to have your own business you know you can have a team of seven thousand people underneath you but if you're not selling you know a thousand or two thousand dollars worth of you know product each month you know you're it, it's very hard to grow as a business person if you're not actually selling your product, if you're just recruiting and just networking, then you know you're not going to you're not going to be able to even get paid as as a, a, a title. What they say, right? So, a sensei director, in order to get paid as a director and to actually get paid on the people who are on their team they need to have a minimum of $500 in sales of their own every single month. And, you know, for, for some of the consultants who are at star and superstar consultant, which is the two ranks below or before, I should say, director, they would say to themselves, oh, that, that, that's a piece of cake. I've got that down. I now know how to do that because when you first start out as a consultant, you start out as an essential consultant, and then you you know as you rank up, as you hit certain milestones, then you go to certified, then you go to lead, and as you are ranking up, you're learning how to do your business. You're learning how to sell wax. I just I'm just gonna generalize it that way. You're learning how to. You're learning what your business is going to be. Is your business going to be fundraisers? Is your business going to be, you know, going to vendor shows and craft fairs? Is your business going to be face-to-face? -face? Is your business going to be online? And while my business is very much a little dabble of everything, it is mostly online. But what has happened to me and what does happen to a lot of directors is that once you're a consultant for a year or two, you have a lot of the people who are very close to you, your family and friends. I'm sorry, it's so bumpy. Your family and friends are the ones that really, you know, sort of deserve those shout outs at the beginning. Um, that, you know, they, they, your family and friends basically got you to certified and lead, you know, all those, those younger ranks. And then a year down the road, all of your friends and family have warmers. <laughs> they don't really need any more warmers. Not everybody is a sensi whore like I am and has, you know, 7,000 warmers in each room of their house. I do. I buy new warmers all the time because I'm a sensi consultant and I want to be familiar with my product. And while I do sell my warmers at times, um, I, I have a, a lot of warmers in my home and a lot of them, almost all of them are on. <laughs> Some of them don't even have wax in them because how much wax can I possibly melt? But like let's I'll give you an example my mother was one of my best customers okay now if she watches this video I don't want her to feel bad because that's it's just a little 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 insight into the situation that I'm in 
So my mother was a very good customer of mine. She now has a warmer in every room. She, she warms wax just like I do. Um, she can appreciate it. My sister-in-law then became a consultant on my team because she was also becoming very quickly addicted to Sensi. And it made sense for her to become a consultant. And of course she joined my team because I was the person who was selling her the wax and stuff. And so when she became a consultant, I said to my mother, now you buy from her, the sister-in-law, you buy from your daughter-in-law because I have enough clients. I have enough customers. Don't you worry about me. She's just starting out. You make sure that you make all of your purchases through her. Now, again, I don't want either one of them to feel guilty about this. I'm just saying this is just a small po portion of my situation. So now I've lost my mother as a customer and I've lost my sister-in-law as a customer. Um, another example is my best friend from high school. She had my first at home party. She was the one who hosted my first at home party. I, you know, I was talking to her about me becoming a consultant again. And she said, well, shit, I'll invite a bunch of my friends over and we'll get you rolling. We'll get your business rolling. And I was just like, great. She invited like 22 people. The party went to like $1,800 in sales. It was great. But that's just one party. I gotta keep booking parties. You know what I mean? I gotta keep following up with those people. It's like, I can, I can recruit 10 people a month to be on my Sensi team, but if I'm not selling wax, I don't get paid. And so, you know, it's, it's sort of like the Sensi director phenomenon where, you know, you get to this point and you hit director and then all of a sudden you go, now what do I do? You know what I mean? So I've now been a director since August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So it's like nine months, right? So now my baby is due <laughs> and I'm, I'm not struggling, but I feel like now I need the next new thing to come in. That's going to really boost my PRV, which is a personal retail volume, which is what you get paid on, you know? Um, now I don't want I don't want to use the word struggle because I'm really not struggling and this is not a this is not a problem. Ugh. In 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 the way of problem. It's not I'm going to pull over. I'm going to park right here because I'm only a block away from where I need to go. Yay. Um it's not a problem yet, but it's a situation that Okay, here's the thing. I'm not afraid of hard work at all, okay? But you got to tell me what to do. And I'm a director, so I'm supposed to know what to do, right? Mm. It's a little tough. It's a little tough. I mean, thankfully, Sensi comes out with like new stuff all the time. And I just made a post in my VIP group because they are coming out with new stuff to, uh, tomorrow. Um, and it's a new wax collection. And we're really so super excited about it. There's a, there, there's a group of directors on Facebook. And we just had a 10-minute you know, back and forth commentary about what do you think it's going to be? Oh, my God. And it's very exciting. And thank God that Sensi does that. They come up with new shit all the time because oh, like I was saying in my in my in my VIP groups, like they come up with this new stuff and I buy all the new stuff. And then as I'm warming through all the new stuff and I'm using it and all that kind of stuff, as soon as I'm done with, you know, using up that new stuff, then new, more new stuff comes out, you know? And what's funny is that sometimes I, I don't get a chance to use the older stuff, you know, the, the traditional stuff, like the satin sheets and the sun-kissed citrus and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I forget how, how great the classic stuff is. And when I say stuff, I mean sense. I'm babbling a little bit, but I'm wondering if anybody who watches this video who is a director has come up with this um, or, you know, ha has been found, has found themselves in this situation of, and I know that you have, so I'm just asking you to give me your insight, your input, what has happened to you when all of your family and friends have their warmers and wax. And you know, it's, it's exhausting and it's not exhausting to do the work. To me, I love selling Scentsy. I love talking to people about Scentsy. I love making samples. I love mailing them out. I love all this stuff. And I, you know what, M more about this video, th this video is more about me stressing about the future than actually what the situation is I'm, that I'm in now, because I'm still in a great situation. I'm still getting my PRV. I still have a growing team. 
I, I'm, you know, every since I hit director, I've hit my director numbers every single month, which is great because not a lot of directors do that. Well, I shouldn't say not all directors do that. Um, but I'm, I'm nervous about where my business will come from, you know, once everybody has bought wax. And that's a stupid thing for me to worry about. So now as I'm saying this, as I'm making this video, I'm, I'm figuring it out. And that's what I thought was going to happen when I said, I think I'm going to make a video about being a director and, and, the, and the stress, the different stress that you have when you hit director. Because sometimes I just need to turn on the camera and babble and I figure things out. So I'm worrying about something that isn't my problem yet. Kind of. Because I always get new business. Because Sensi is awesome. It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the product. The product is awesome. I have to make myself available and obvious in front of people's face in order for them to buy the Sensi though. And I have to be their consultant. You know, I, I did a video for my team about the pros and cons of having an external website that is your own. It's not just your PWS, your personal website that you get through Sensi. I also have another website where people can go and they can see my take on everything. It's not just this is the way Sensi describes the notes, and this is the what Sensi charges for the stuff. It's my pictures of things, and it's my opinions about wax, and it's me and Randy giving first sniffs, my, my little guy, um, and it, it's my interpretation of the buddy, and it's my interpretation of everything, and that, I, I like, that's MetallicaMom.com, by the way. And so I, I, I made that, that website because I wanted the public to know that I am your personal Scentsy consultant. I am your personal fragrance consultant. It's not just I'm a conduit for where you can buy your Scentsy. I want to be the drug dealer that says to you, this is going to give you the best high for where you are right now, so to speak. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I don't sell drugs. I don't agree with drugs. But that's that's kind of where I am right now today in my Sensi business. It's 1216 on the East Coast on Monday, and I've been babbling for 12 minutes. So 12 is the right number. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.